everyone, I'm Anna, the Tech Fairy, here to sprinkle some digital glitter on your day. In this video, we will dive into a world of layers. API, ABI, and ISA are all layers of abstraction in computer system that separates different layers of detail. Each layer provides a specific level of functionality and hides the complexities of the lower levels making it easy to manage and understand the system. These technical terms can be very abstract and challenging to understand, so I want to start with this cute restaurant diagram as an analogy to these terms. This will help us to relate this concept to a familiar environment, because I want to show you how each layer encapsulates in details and only exposes what's necessary to the layers above. And then high layers don't need to know how the lower layers work. They just need to know how to use them. All right, so imagine you go to your favorite restaurant and this is you, the coolest kid on the block. Shades on, music blasting in your headphones. When you're inside and ready to order your meal, you walk up to the cashier. So just like the friendly cashier who takes your order, the API or application programming interface acts as a go-between for the front end application and the back end services, like the cashier between the customer and the kitchen. The API takes your order and delivers it to the kitchen where it gets cooked up just right. It's like a toolkit for developers. It defines how one piece of software communicates with another. In the restaurant, the cashier hands you the menu so you can pick what you want. You are not going to ask for the recipe for each dish because who cares how it's cooked as long as it's delicious, right? Similarly, an API lists functions or methods an application can call, like post, get, or put, and you don't need to know how this works behind the scenes. This abstraction level makes it easy for developers to use high-level commands without dealing with the greedy details. The API is like the server who doesn't need to know how to cook, just how to take and deliver orders. There are some APIs that you might already be familiar with, for example, Google Map API. Um, Google Map API allows developers to integrate Google Maps into their application or a Twitter API that enables access to features like retrieving tweets, posting updates, or interacting with the users. Think of the ABI or application binary interface as a collection of recipes. Just like a recipe gives you exact instructions and ingredients to prepare a dish, the ABI provides guidelines for how software components interact with the system and with each other. These recipes ensure that no matter who's cooking, the dish turns out the same. For instance, a burger from one McDonald's tastes just like a burger from another McDonald's. Even if you're in a different country, it's still the same burger. Similarly, the ABI ensures binary compatibility across different programs. It's the layer between the API and ISA. So just like different restaurants have their own recipes, each machine architecture has its own ABI. For example, x86. ABI designed to work with Intel or ARM ABI works with ARM processor, MIPS ABI works with MIPS processor, you get the idea, right? Now what's the ISA? Think of the ISA as the kitchen blueprint. It lays out the tools, layout and the structure the chef needs. Just like a chef needs to know what the stove and sink are and how they work, software relies on the ISA to execute instructions correctly. The ISA provides the fundamental instructions for hardware to process and is essential for both API and ABI. ISA deals with specific instructions a processor can handle, how they encode it, and how the processor interacts with memory and registers. It's the lowest level of abstraction, the foundation that both the API and ABI rely on to function. Different ISAs are made for different needs. For example, your phone might need one ISA, while high-performance server needs another. 
The five most popular ISAs are X86, X8664, ARM, MIPS, and RISC-V. Okay, I hope my video helped shed some light on this complex concepts and clear things up for you. Thanks for joining me on this tech adventure. And if you love this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, take it, keep coding. Bye-bye.